Hi everybody, thanks for joining us here at Four Wheel today. Normally when we do a video, we do a video covering a lot of different things. But this is such a special situation today that I just want to go over one thing, and that's the new Batwing awning. It's a wraparound awning. Now the Batwing is a product that's been around for some time. Paul May is here today from Equipped Expedition Outfitters who's supplying us with the awnings that are made in South Africa. And he'll tell us a little bit about it in just a couple of minutes here. But I was on, a, on an expedition kind of a thing last summer, traveling through Albania and Montenegro, the Balkan Peninsula in Southeast Europe. And one of the campers that was on the trip with us had a wraparound style awning. And I was so impressed with it that when I got home, I dug into it more and more and found that Paul is the guy that has the best product out there for what our particular needs are at four wheel campers. So we embarked on the process and we finally have made it so that they're now available. We have our first shipment in, and uh, now we're ready to start installing the, the Batwing on not only new campers, but also to retrofit on older campers as well too. So this is really a pretty big deal. So if you can uh, pan in a little bit on what the Batwing looks like here. Now of course, this is in the stored position, obviously. But what I wanna show here is that for years, We've offered a very, very high quality side awning, and it's a box awning. A box awning meaning that it's in its own wrapper kind of an affair that rolls out. The bat wing here is in a zipped compartment. The good thing about this is that there's not a big difference in the size between just a plain side awning and what we're looking at for a wraparound awning. So if you take a look here, you see what we've got easily accessible and I think the best thing that we do right now show you how it works so I'm going to take the camera I'm going to move the camera over here because as we deploy this it's going to come around like this so it's better if we can see it from the back and uh, so we're going to switch over I'll meet you back over here in just a moment meanwhile Paul's going to come on over and we'll start the process of uh, getting the awning set up so deploying the awning as they say so I'll see you over here so this is Paul from Equipped Expedition Outfitters. What we're going to have is Paul go ahead and deploy the awning now. I'll try to stay out of the way so it doesn't trip over me because there is kind of a Mutt and Jeff thing going on here. And uh, let's let it rip. Fair enough. The casing on this awning is very well made. It's, uh, you see a lot of flimsy stuff out there. But this, the zipper on this is well made. One of the things I'd like you to take a peek at here is this hinging mechanism here. It's very nicely made. It's sturdy. It's a good aluminum construction. So it's a situation where you're going to feel comfortable with it as you're using it. Canvas is very, very nicely done. Again, you see a lot of inexpensive stuff out there. But the quality of this canvas, very nice, very, very nice. Now that he's got the awning basically deployed, what he's doing now is dropping the legs. One of the beautiful parts about this whole leg situation is that they're built into the legs. And as they're built into the legs, you've got adjustment up and down. So you've got the flexibility for if it's raining, you can work on drainability and so on and so forth. That's it, he's done. It's a very, very expeditious and sweet setup. So I think what I'd like to do now, now that you see how it gets deployed, Paul, if you'd go ahead and undeploy it, if you'd go ahead and wrap it back up and see how quickly that can be done as well too. Happy. Simplicity of folding the legs back up is great. Once you've done it once or twice, you just fall right into the rhythm of it, and there's not much to it. Part of the idea here is that it stacks together on the 
forward end of the awning casing, there's a, a step set up so that the arms just nest in and as a result it's a whole lot more secure as you're putting it back together as well too. Wraps up. Got your straps. Now I've deployed and put the awning back together a couple of times. As you can tell, I'm short. So basically what I use is a nice short step stool. We have a little plastic step stool that we sell here. You can also get them in tons of places as well too. So for a short person like me, I basically just will go ahead and get the step stool set up, get myself deployed, and then I'm good to go. He's done. That's all there is to it. So there we are. He's a bad actor, but he does pretty good though. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead we're going to sign up for just a minute here. We're going to have Paul give us a few words on the origin of the bat wing and where it's coming from and a little bit more of that history. So we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Paul May. I'm with Equipped Expedition Outfitters and I'm honored to be here at the Four Wheel Campers facility telling you about the Easy On Bat 270 awning. Uh, the, the bat uh, awning is made by Easy On of Johannesburg, South Africa and uh, they have been in business for over 30 years building the benchmark products uh, for overlanding and camping uh, uh, needs. Uh, the bat awning itself is, uh, is a newer product for Easy On. It's been out for about five or six years now and it's made from phenomenal products. They're made up of uh, anodized aluminum extrusions, uh, Teflon coated uh, material, ripstop duck cloth material, and the bag itself is made out of a, a PVC material that is UV resistant. It's the same material that they make uh, tonneau covers out of here in the United States. A, a phenomenal product. Uh, it's a great idea. It works well on this uh, camper and we're very excited to be a part of the four-wheel campers family.